uh, usually uh, I think uh, there's a mindset uh, in general I, I find in my institute uh, the way we focus educational aspect of students but uh, I think uh, we need to focus in other areas also which Mr. Raman was telling because um, South Asia uh, the part um, uh, my, my country is in which part we have a substantial uh, population is under poverty so we should have a focus, and I really like this, uh, the theme of this uh, ICAP's um, Golden Jubilee, accountants and social responsibility. Because usually we get stuck in the only corporate sector, in the profit maximization, but we usually don't think, accountants don't think in that way uh, beyond for inclusive growth and all. So um, with that and, you know, with uh, our students, uh, we, we have students community, like we are doing for them the educational part and uh, uh, with the curriculum, with their uh, syllabuses, upgradation and all. I'm really thankful to my uh, colleagues, um, our council members and also some of our members with all resource constraints, the way they have been uh, trying hard for the students and everybody is a very good teamwork we are doing. But uh, for beyond the education part, to groom them to, for the social, um, for uh, socially, to, uh, which Mr. Raman was telling the mindset, or uh, to um, participate in, the, in a broader aspect. Um, I think we are not doing much in that way. So recently, I talked with the students forum, and I found, uh, I was very impressed on their own, they were doing some CSR, so I asked them, you know, uh, I will help them with, uh, with an objective that uh, because, uh, not, uh, because there is resource constraint also and also time constraint. Main thing is time constraint also. But I appreciate their intention. So I said I will help you that, uh, the, uh, to have a special focus. So I um, asked them because from my previous experience I knew there was a scope for underprivileged students, uh, underprivileged uh, ch uh, children, and um, even the entrepreneurs, you know, not uh, those, uh, those who uh, do, uh, do not have the um, academic education to help them in financial management sector, so uh, management training and all. So um, I talked with one of the development partners and they are very keen to work with a professional body. So in the long run, um, uh, I'm, uh, when I go back, after I will sit down with them and will make the plan that uh, we will uh, involve our students, those who have time, and our members uh, to help with the underprivileged um, uh, community to have financial management training and also the small entrepreneurs, especially the women entrepreneurs can be the, with the chambers and all we can help them. It's just this is a CSR part and uh, with the social um, um, something to do with the social objectives. And another thing, uh, like uh, from our, um, from my experience, I'm just sharing. Like in, in Bangladesh, uh, we have introduced this um, uh, NGO award. When we first introduced the NGO MFI award, before Safa, we did. And then I uh, proposed, and the, our the then president they accepted, and we introduced that. And at that time, during the evaluation, we found that uh, hardly. Um, uh, everybody is doing the audit, you know, but they don't um, 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 give it in the annual report. So I gave them, because I was working with the apex body uh, in the poverty elevation sector. Um, uh, micro, uh, we used to, uh, now I have left my, that uh, job, but I was a deputy managing director of PKSF, and PKSF was the apex body to was for finance, uh, for uh, microfinance, uh, revolving loan fund we used to produce. Um, so that's why I have that opportunity of uh, interaction with the NGOMFIs. And then uh, we gave a circular, then they have to include the 
um, their, in their annual report, they have to submit, their, they have to uh, add the um, audited report. And now it's uh, in Bangladesh, you know, it's a very good practice is going on. And even in the NGO sectors also, in the other services also we need to do. So as a, um, a professional body, sometimes we are doing, we are advising, but you know, the implementation side or, you know, uh, and it helps in transparency and confidence building. Because most of the NGOs, you know, they said, you know, it's just a fear. If everything is disclosed, um, especially, the, you know, it's just uh, some psychological barrier. It's the mindset uh, problem. So there is uh, enough things to do, you know. Beyond this professional, what we are doing, uh, we can, for excellence, uh, we are working, but we can do for the society at large also. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Mahmood. <laughs> I'd like to ask Mr. Pandey if you have a few words to share with us. We didn't give you enough time to prepare, though. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Masood Saab for accommodating ICANN out of the box. Uh, thank you for that so much. And I would like to congratulate ICAP on 50th anniversary. And ICANN is on 15th. ICAP is on 50th. It's uh, wonderful timing. Well, uh, ICANN is struggling for imparting education and all. And we believe education is a very important aspect uh, for fostering the talent in the region. But definitely education itself is not uh, sufficient. If you, produce, if you give the education, definitely it will give more knowledge to the people. But if you don't produce the opportunity, this knowledge will be exported. In recent days, we are exporting levers. If we give more education and not opportunity, we will be exporting the trained manpower again, we'll, we'll land up into the bad situation. So I, I should rather emphasis on education together with the opportunity that will foster the talent of the people. In recent days, we have seen several of the cases, corruption-linked development, financial crisis, tax evasions, all these cases are a type of vicious circle. And our young people are very, very afraid of these type of cycles, and they want to get rid of this type of cycle. And definitely our education system should be slightly molded. I think uh, we are still following a, a traditional type of education system and we are producing more accountants only. We should not be producing more accountants. We should be focusing on leadership type of uh, cases. In our case, in Nepal also, we have seen several chartered accountants who have done successful business uh, opportunities and they, have, uh, they are uh, treated as a very successful CEOs. In this year's past, several of these CEOs has, a chartered accountant CEO has backed the manager of the year's award also. So I see a lot of uh, the talent in the chartered accountant itself uh, running a c company, successful CEO. So I would rather emphasize the uh, education system slightly molded to accommodate this type of system and we are working on that, that type of lining. So I think uh, this is my experience uh, to convert the ch uh, talent into a leadership. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Pandey Saab. Sakib Saab, it's now your turn. Thank you. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. First of all, I would like to thank all the um, heads of the accounting bodies within SARC, SAFA region for their compliments for ICAP on the ICAP's Golden Jubilee and for their participation in person. And that is really great of them. And we appreciate. Uh, I will not uh, repeat about the um, I mean, role or the qualification or the uh, characteristics or the uh, what, what the of the accounting profession and the accountants. What my colleagues have already, I mean, said in m more details. But I think uh, I would like to say that in Pakistan, I mean, uh, our, we are now 50 years old and our membership is still five and a half thousand. So this is really a big challenge for us. Uh, to have the how to increase the you know uh, professional accountants qualified have on our uh, membership and for this I mean we totally agree that uh, the professional accountant besides have the technical skills and knowledge should also be trained and have the interpersonal skills to be the business leader so keeping in mind this objective um, we have uh, we are reviewing our uh, educational and the examination systems and the curriculum and also now uh, 
thinking on the, you know, uh, having the benefit of the international experiences and we are already in discussions with the Institute of Chartered Accountants of England and Wales that how, I mean, uh, we can work together in a coordinated manner and seek the uh, benefit of their experience. And uh, from the regional perspective, I think uh, we should also consider within the South regional countries of the exchange of the experiences for the students more particularly.